Hi everybody, Ian Bremmer here around your world in 180 seconds. I've got your questions lined up on my phone and we're ready to go. Number one, will Biden and Xi come together to regulate military use of AI? Uh, I think that's one of the areas that we are going to see a level of cooperation. The Chinese are concerned uh, about, uh, first, the Americans being ahead of them in AI, uh, but secondly, about the fact that this could uh, escalate and spiral into uh, mutually assured destruction quickly if there isn't a level of transparency. That's very different from the unwillingness of the Chinese to engage in high-level mill-mill talks for example, on South China Sea or on Taiwan recently. Uh, this is an area they think will be constructive. I'm glad to see it. Uh, can the Qatari mediation secure a breakthrough for hostage release in Gaza? Well, we've been hearing about this for weeks now, um, and it's been imminent and then not happening, imminent, not happening. Uh, I do think uh, that the level of pressure on Israel, on the Israeli government for not having secured the release of women, of children. I mean, we're talking about a couple of hundred plus uh, civilian hostages living in the most unimaginably horrible uh, environment um, in Gaza. And, and I, I do believe um, that you, a breakthrough is, is pretty likely. We're also going to find out that a lot of these hostages, of course, are already dead. But I'm hopeful, and let's keep fingers crossed on that. Has time run out for Ukraine's counteroffensive, the much vaunted counteroffensive? Yeah, it looks like they're not going to be able to take much more territory at this point and it's hard to imagine they're going to have the military capacity or the troop capacity to do anything else in the foreseeable future uh, and that means that de facto the 18 percent of ukraine's territory that russia presently occupies they're going to continue to occupy um, going forward no one's going to accept a partition no one is going to say that russia legitimately owns that territory because it is ukrainian territory but the reality um, is unacceptable. Um, and that is where we're going to be, an uncomfortable position going forward. That's it for me, and I'll talk to you all real soon.